Welcome to Game Maker How to Make an Object Fire Close to the Player. So not directly at him, because that might make your game a little too hard. Let's make it so the tower just fires close to the player. Now if you haven't watched a previous How to video, it's called Fire at Player. I'm just going to add literally one little tiny change to the code. So you'll see here in that video, I had added a tower, and in the step event, this was our code that fired directly at the player, which used the point direction method and provided the coordinates of the tower to the coordinates of the player to find the direction of the ball we make. Now, if I want to fire just close to the player, I'm really just going to add one tiny change here. Is I'm just going to add a little bit of randomness to this direction. So what you can add here is, I'm just going to do the I random range command, and I'm going to say, you know what, give me an angle that is, uh, let's not make it too easy for the player, but let's say 15 degrees. There we go, negative 15 degrees to 15 degrees. So after it calculates the perfect direction towards the player, all you're going to do is add on a random number. That random number could be negative 15, negative 8, 5, 6, 7, 2, 0, who knows? You decide how narrow you want to make this range. A neat thing you could do in your game would make, make this number get smaller as the game gets harder. Okay, or as the game goes on, that way the enemies get a little more accurate. Anyways, that's really it. That's the entire change. And watch what it does. Tick, tick, tick. Now remember, I had that in the step event with no control, but you can see not all of them. Some of them go to the player, but there's your little uh, 15 degrees in either direction spread. So it adds a little bit to the game, right? Sometimes if you fire right at the player, it's a little too predictable and too easy to get away. Okay, that's a bit nicer. Thanks for watching.